Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about how to update the data. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So previously we have seen how to edit. So we have fetched inside a form. So in this video, we are particularly working on this update part. So when I click on this update, if I am changing the department from BCA to BTEC, it has to get updated. Okay. And one more thing is that it has to get updated without page reload. So without this reloading this page, the data has to get updated quickly. So let's see how to do that. So, so this is a footer. So we are going to work on this updation, right? So where is that? So this is edit. We are going to work on this updation. So this updation is going to be similar with the edit. Sorry, similar with the add. So let's see that code, add code first. So let me close this edit student code and let me close this get student function as well. So here we have add student, right? So add student is similar with the updation. So here we are taking all the value. Then we are showing the success message here. We are hiding the model. It's similar with this. So let's see how to do that. Now let us copy this uh, add code and let us work with this and change few things. Okay, let's paste it here first. Let's close this. So first thing uh, you should understand when it comes to writing a code is that you have to follow the alignment. Okay, so the alignment is must so that you will understand it much better where it is closing where it is ending all of those things so when the alignment is not proper you will get a lot of confusion so where should this be closed now we have copied the add code here let us rename this to update student and here you can see add student data click function so here we have to change this to update so let's go to edit which is there inside index so this is a model this is a class so class represents dot and id represents ash. So let's copy this. Go back to footer and paste it. It was a class so dot. We can alert and check by commenting all of this. Just add alert and just type hello, hi, something that works. And here one more thing that we have to add is we have name, email, phone, department, right? Okay, But we need the id as well here. So you have to give ID, which is where student ID, I'm just giving stud ID is equal to dollar dot stud ID. Enclose within single quotes dot val. So val is used for input, right? Okay, so now this is a variable that we have created, but then from where are you getting this thing? This is coming from form, edit form. So edit form we have given here input hidden, but we have given the class here. Okay, edit ID is being given here, but you can rename this to student ID as well. Okay, let's go back one second. Let's go to footer. Okay, I closed it off. So here you have edit data. So here you have student ID. But here we have given edit ID. Let's change this to give it as student ID. So here is the student ID. So let's copy the student ID and scroll to edit thing and paste it here. Okay. So simple. Now this we are going to copy and paste it inside update here. So this can also be edit. So what we'll do is we'll just divide this and copy paste quickly. So next we have his name. So we have created a variable and we are going to pass this edit name. Everything is inside class. So if you are giving ID, make sure you give a hash. Edit email. Edit phone. Edit department. So let's close this and open this. 
So now we have pasted everything correctly. You can just console log and check if you are getting this edit or else let's do that quickly. Let's comment this, uncomment this. So let's test with ID. Okay, if we are getting the student ID inside console log. Reload this. I'm going to inspect on edit. Go to console. Okay, here I'm going to, when I'm updating, I should get the ID. So I'm getting the ID. So I've clicked on user1. You can see Sneha user1. So I'm getting the ID here. So let's close this and click on edit 2. Click on update. I'm getting 2. That is ID number 2. So we are getting as per expected. So let's uncomment this. And what you can do is, so after uncommenting, you have some condition here. So here you have some show show message. So which means we are showing the message, right? So we have the error message as well. I'll show you what is that error message and all of those things. So before that here you can see some condition. It's working on some condition. So that condition tells if any of the field is null. Show them the error. Okay. Any of the field is null. Then it has to display. Please input all the field. So let's check what is happening. Let's go here now. So reload. Close. Reload this. Click on edit. And remove this department. And click on update. It is telling please enter all the field. So it's giving some indication. So we have written this code here. Okay, here it is. So here you can see error message. We have used bootstrap uh, for the design purpose for this design. So this is a bootstrap code. So we have appended it with the class error message. So this error message class you can just type here edit or update so this class name copy this class name go to index here you have edit model right here you have one error message so here you should paste it it was only error message now i have changed it to edit so that you will understand it okay this is what it is doing now close this reload once again click on edit update oh it it is telling data stored Okay, edit. I'm removing this. When I update, it is telling please enter all the field. Okay, so this is a kind of validation that has been happening in this form. Once after this, we have called the Ajax. So Ajax is here. So we are taking a type as post and it is going to code.php. Here you have add students button. Let's make this to update student button. So here one more thing that we have to take is student ID. So let's add that student underscore ID is equal to copy paste this student ID. Okay. Copy paste add a comma. So we are taking the ID. Don't forget to add the ID here. And we are taking the name, email, phone, department. All of those things after that what we are doing is we are hiding add model here but we want to hide the edit model so go back to edit here you can see id right copy this id and paste it here just change it because we don't want to add the add model because we are working with edit and update so hide the edit model hide the edit model and then show the message success message so i'll tell what is this response once after going to code.php so now let's go go to code.php with the post method. And here we have performed for click edit button, but for update we have not yet performed. So let's do that quickly. Here write if is set of dollar post of copy that button name, which is update student button, paste it here. So if this button is clicked, what has to happen we are taking the id so let's tell this as student underscore id is equal to dollar post
post of std id and here we are going to write update update student query is equal to update what is the table name so it's php ajax just copy this paste it set name is equal to dollar name okay now we are only pasted but we have the uh, thing which is there inside this id department and all of this thing right so let's copy it from here or you can just type you can just do that one second id we have then we have the name, name is equal to dollar post of go to footer so here you have name email phone department tell name okay copy paste paste name email phone department okay twice it has printed no problem okay now th these things are these are the things that we are going to update but then id we are not going to update okay so name add a comma and tell email is equal to dollar email comma phone is equal to dollar phone comma department department is equal to dollar department okay and here don't give a comma write a where condition where id is equal to stood id okay then add a semicolon at the end so if this is too big let's make this like this okay and after this write a update run query update student query run is equal to using my sqli query function connect your database which is connection and pass this update student query along with the connection copy paste okay so once after this add a semicolon now we have to check if that data is updated or not using an if condition so if this update query run is working fine okay then echo store it in a variable we will just tell this variable name as result is equal to success fully uh, or you can tell updated successfully okay else we'll tell copy paste the same thing and change something went wrong okay so now this is the result this is the result that we are this is what we are getting in form of response so here i would have told i will tell you so this code this echo result is what we will be getting in the form of response so that response i have just concatenate with the bootstrap model okay here i am adding the model after adding the model only i am showing the message and here we have a uh, student data html which is that this student data is nothing but the html that we have fetched here i'll show you that as well so this student did so it is telling that make that table null and then immediately reload so this get student function also i have told why we are using this get student so immediately once after the once after making the table null fetch the data that is without reload so this function uh, 
I'll just explain it. I'll just tell you. So this is the function. So what it is doing is it is getting the value, right? It is getting quickly. So let's uh, check the output with that. So make sure you watch the previous videos to understand it much better. Let's go reload this and check. Let's go update one data and check if we are getting as expected. So I'm going to update this user 7. Click on edit. And I'm leaving it empty. So when I update it is telling please enter all the fields. Here I'm giving Merlin. Merlin. So full name is Merlin Merlin dot com. And let's tell H276 BCA B. I've added BCA B. Let's click on update data. You can see updated successfully and everything is updated as per what I have given. Now if I want to update the next data which is a B, I'll just give a B B. Click on update. You can see updated successfully. So yeah, this is how you update the data without page reload. I'm not reloading the page, but then it it was automatically updated here. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.